ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Right, kaya naman, samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una si Sarah. She is a creative writing student from UP Diliman. She enjoys watching anime and reading web novels. She's also into linguistics and translation. Naku, ito naman si Ralph, isang mechanical engineering student of TIPQC. His hobbies are watching movies and TV series, listening to music, and playing flag football. Althea is a second year student from the University of Santo Tomas. She's currently taking BS Biology, major in Industrial Biology. She plays flag football as well. Mm. What a coincidence, huh? And is actually in the women's national team of this sport. Last but not least, Miles is a student of UP Diliman studying comparative literature. She likes, of course, reading books, studying Japanese, and journaling with her fountain pen. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First of all, we have Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We have Assistant Professor Marla Indriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And we have Professor To Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, ito na ang opportunity na kayo ay makapagpakitang gilas. Buzz in but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang inyong effort. Let's begin! Welcome to round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In the UAAP, which school is represented by the Bulldogs? Miles. National University. National University or NU is correct. K-check. Question number two. In what language does Bon Voyage literally mean a good journey? Ralph. French. French is correct. K-check. Number three. What chemical element has the symbol MG? Sarah. Magnesium. Magnesium is correct. K-check. Number four. In elementary science, what do you call the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor? Althea. Evaporation. Evaporation is correct. Okay, check. What adjective means relating to or resembling a cat? Miles. Cat-like. Cat-like is mali. Tara. Kati. 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 Kati is mali. Anyone would like to steal? Ano na? Uh, Ralph or Althea? Yeah. Okay. Time is up. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is feline. Yun na ba dapat? Okay. <laughs> Number six. What do you call an animal that eats only plants and fruits? Sarah. Herbivore. Herbivore is correct. Okay, check. Number seven. In what province in Bicol can you find a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve as well as the port of Legazpi? Right. Matnog. Matnog is mali. Anyone can steal? Province in Bicol. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is albay. Number eight. Taken from the Latin word for peaceful, what musical term means a love song sung under a window? No, 
Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Serenade. Number 9. In what sport did David Beckham and Lionel Messi become famous? Sarah. Football. Football or soccer is correct. K check. Number 10. Mental math. 28 is one half of what number? Tara. 14. 14 is Male. Miles. 56. 56 is correct. K check. Number 11. South African singer Tyla became famous in 2023 for what number one song? Rai. Water. Water is correct. K check. Last question for this round. What is the capital of Indonesia? Tara. Jakarta. Jakarta is correct. K check. That ends our round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that round, we have Sarah in the lead with 40 points, followed by Miles and Ralph tied for second place with 20 points, and Altea at 10 points. Kalain mo yun, lahat sila nakascores yes. round na to. Sobrang intense ng round din, so congratulations. Exciting panoorin ng batch na to. Ang kagandahan dito sa paycheck, sa bawat round ay may chance kayong makahabol, of course, gaya ng gagawin natin sa araw na to. So habang may round, may pag-asa. Yan ang tatandaan nyo, ha? Pero wala namang bokya so far. So, <laughs> mahusay kayong lahat. At si Prof To, ikaw na ang magtatanong ngayon, kina Ralph at Althea, tungkol sa kanilang kakaibang sport. Oo oh, nga. Ah, para kay Ralph, oh, yes. uh, kwento mo naman sa amin, ano ba ang tinatawag na flag uh, football? So, na nabanggit mo kanina. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ang flag football po ay hango sa American football. If alam nyo po yung American football, eh, ito po yung may helmet and pads. Mm -hmm. So ang flag football is parang nerf version ng uh, American football. Nerf? Uh, parang parang soft nerf version. version. Parang soft version. <laughs> <laughs> so ang mechanics ng flag football is same with American football. But ang difference is wala tayong safety gear or yung safety equipment na helmet and pads. Pero very um, physical pa rin yung sport? Uh, hindi. Parang siyang nag-basketball. Mm -hmm. Parang may risk pa rin ng injury and such. Pero ano siya, non-contact like the American football. At saka meron talagang women's national team tayo at member nga si Altea sa sport na ito. Kamusta naman ang iyong partisipasyon? the flag football as a member of the women's team. Yeah, actually, uh, last month po, meron kaming game sa Malaysia. Yeah, How we, was it? Hindi uh, kami nanala, pero we placed naman. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so, pwede pala kayo maglaro din, no? Yeah, actually, Inter -school. We, were, we were teammates ng high school. Oh! So, so magkasabay ba kayong sumali? Yeah. Akala ko naman, it was fate. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Pero small world, no? sa K-Check pa sila nagita ulit. Okay, so pag nagsimula na kayong manalo ng medals at of course trophies for flag football, malamang lalabas na ang mga pangalan nyo bilang question dito sa K-Check. Pero habang hindi pa, dito muna kayo mag-compete sa round 2 sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Rika po na tayo sa points. Leading pa rin po si Sarah with 40 points. Tied naman at 20 points si Ralph and si Miles. At si Althea naman ay may 10 points. So, kausapin naman natin yung dalawang writers natin sa ating set of contestants. Si Sarah, creative writing ang kurso. Si Miles naman, mahilig sa journaling na usong-uso ngayon. Hindi pa magtatanong. Ah, si Prof. Marla pala. Si Prof. Marla. <laughs> okay, Prof. Marla. Um, Na-mention kanina na mahilig ka sa translation. Ano bang ibig sabihin ito? I'm into fan translation kasi. So parang unofficial translation. It started in late 2018 when I got into Chinese web novels. During this time, there were no official English translations. So to read them, I would read unofficial English translations. 
And minsan parang hindi ako makapaghintay sa update ng translator, so I ended up learning the language myself. And wow, then if I wow. want to read the next chapter, ayun. Wow, ang tiyaga. Ang tiyaga mo naman. Well, I think language is always a gift, kaya ako wow talaga mm. na nakapag-translate siya. Miles, bakit ka naman nahilig sa journaling? Miles? For me po kasi, medyo personal po siya. I cannot trust my own memory. So since at a young age, I try to like um, store my memories or my personal feelings into somewhere that I can go back to. So for me, it's also a form of release then. Kasi I am not the kind na madaling magsalita. And it also grounds me in a way, in the present. So you need that, especially at this time. So maraming salamat sa inyo. Mag-ready na rin kayo, contestants, dahil ito na ang round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. Who became the president of the Philippines in November 1965 and held on to his office until 1986. Miles. Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Ferdinand Marcos is correct. K check. Question number two. In music, from the Greek words for love and unity, what term means devoted to music, especially of orchestras? The correct answer is Philharmonic. Question number three. In sports, especially baseball, what do you call a game in which the losing team fails to score any runs? Wow. Strike. Wrong. The correct answer is shut out. Question number five, taken from the Greek words for distant and light. What term refers to the camera lens used to focus on far away objects? Miles? Telescope. The answer is wrong. The correct answer to describe the camera lens used to focus on faraway objects is telephoto. What English song by Twice made it to number three in the 2021 Japan Hot Music Charts? Miles? More and more. The answer is wrong. The correct answer is the fields. Question number seven. From terms meaning life and ball, what do you call the part of the Earth system comprising all ecosystems and living organisms? Altea. Bio. The answer is wrong. Sarah. Biosphere. Biosphere is correct. K okay, check. Question number eight. What school of art is characterized by subjects of a dreamy, fantastic, or irrational nature like the works of Salvador Dali? Yes, Miles? Surrealism. Surrealism? The answer is correct. K okay, check. Moving on to question number nine. What is the name of the board game, once the most popular in the world, that has players buying and trading property? Ralph. Monopoly. Monopoly is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In car racing this time, what very sharp and direction reversing turn gets his name from a metallic or plastic object used by women. The correct answer is hairpin. A hairpin term. term. Question number 11. In sports, 
which school in the NCAA uses the nickname Pirates? The correct answer is Lyceum or Lyceum of the Philippines University. We now go to the last question. Question number 12. What is the alliterative term for organic materials formed from decayed prehistoric plants and animals that have been converted to crude oil, coal, and natural gas? Ralph. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel is correct. K check. And that's the end for our second round. Alright, recap muna tayo sa scores ng ating contestants. Leading pa rin po si Sarah with 60 points. Followed by Ralph with 50 points. Si Miles naman may 40 points. At si Altea pwede pang bumawi sa ating next round. Pero ang intense din ng round 2 ah. Correct. Pero don't worry, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. So, recap muna tayo ng points again. Mm -hmm. Sarah is leading with 60 points. Ralph with 50 points. Miles with 40 points. And Althea will try to bounce back sa ating round 3. So, professors, baka po meron kayong last-minute advice bago po sumabak yung contestants natin dito sa ultimate pagalingan. Prof. Neil. Ang uh, ibibigay ko advice yung binibigay ko sa mga anak ko. So, just chill and seize the moment at kung anong mangyari sa laban. Hang on and move forward. Prof. Marla. Simply lang, magdasal kayo. <laughs> Prof. To. Uh, sa anuman larangan ng sining, napaka-importante ng karanasan. Marami silang babaunin. Ang profound mm -hmm. ng advice ng ating mga experts. <laughs> so thank you, experts. And now it's these experts' turn to play Quiz Masters in our ultimate Pagalingan Round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts, sa kanila po manggagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting. So this is it, guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Welcome to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Ano ang pangalan ng huling dynastia sa China? A. Han B. Ming Si Ching, Di Sung, I Tang. Ralph, B, Ming. Male. Sarah, A Han. Male. Ang mga Manchu ang namahala sa huling dinastiya sa China. Tumagal ito mula 1644 hanggang 1911. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Ching. Marla? Science. Which gas makes up the majority of Earth's atmosphere? A. Oxygen. B. Nitrogen. C. Carbon dioxide. D. Hydrogen. E. Methane. Althea. B. Nitrogen. It makes up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. The correct answer is B, nitrogen. Okay, check. Talagang nag-ahabol-habol na ang mga scores natin. Prof. To. Arts and design. These principles of design refer to the unifying effect on design, thereby sustaining attraction. The visual elements must work together to support the main idea presented. A, proportion. B, balance. C, ratio and proportion. D, unity and harmony. E, balance by contrast. Sarah. D, unity and harmony. Tama. Okay, check. Thank you. Rafael, go ahead. Southeast Asian history. Anong bansa sa Timog Silangang Asia ang napasa ilalim sa kolonisasyon ng mga Olandes o mga Dutch sa matagal na panahon? A, Indonesia. 
B. Malaysia C. Myanmar D. Singapore E. Vietnam Ralph D. Singapore Bale Miles A. Indonesia Dutch East Indies ang tradisyonal na tawag sa bansang ito. Tumagal ang Dutch East Indies mula 1800 hanggang 1949. Ang bansang ito ay ang pinakamalaking archipelago sa buong mundo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Indonesia, K-Check. What type of virus causes COVID-19? A. Influenza virus B. Coronavirus C. Retrovirus D. Rhinovirus E. Flavivirus Avea B. Coronavirus There are many different kinds of this type of virus, mm. some of which cause disease. The correct answer is B. Coronavirus. K-check. Super tight. Yes. Prof, Tau, go ahead. This phenomenon is a dynamic process wherein the source transmits message through a channel to a receiver. A. Communication B. Communist C. Community D. Communism and E. None of the above. Sarah A. Communication It came from the Latin term meaning establishing one's commonness. Tama. By A. Communication K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Neil Cultural Studies Which of the following is the Moro ethnic group that trace its cultural roots to the Sobanens. A. Iranon B. Kalibugan C. Sama D. Sobanen E. Yakan Matatagpuan ang ethnic group na ito sa Sambuanga Peninsula. Tawag rin sa kanila ay Sobanen Moros. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Kalibugan Okay, Prof. Marla, go ahead. Genetics. Which genetic disorder is characterized by the absence of an X chromosome in females? A. Down syndrome B. Turner syndrome C. Kleinfelter syndrome D. Hemophilia E. Marfan syndrome Its symptoms include a short webbed neck, low hairline, and a short fourth finger or toe. The correct answer is B. Turner Syndrome. Arts and Design Natural white light or sunlight is energy composed of radiation of different electromagnetic wavelengths. These radiations travel in all directions in undulating motion. If this white light passes through a prism, it creates a spectral light arranged from highest to lowest wavelengths. What do you call this electromagnetic wavelength? A. Rajabiv B. RGB C. Color D. RBY E. Rainbow Ralph Rain E. Rainbow Mali When this white light no, passes through a prism, it creates color spectrum. But what do you call this spectrum in general? The, the answer is C, color. Thank you, Prof. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Ano ang kabisera ng probinsya ng Camarines Sur? A. Daet, B. Legaspi, C. Naga, D. Pili, E. Sorsogon. Nilipat mula sa Naga, tungo sa bayang ito ang pagiging kabisera ng Camarines Sur noong 1955. Layo nito na maghanap ng bagong kabisera na mas ligtas sa matinding pagbaha. Matatagpuan sa kabisera ito ang tinatawag na Naga Airport. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Pili. Next question. What term describes the process of introducing natural predators or diseases to control invasive species in an ecosystem? A. Mechanical removal B. Biological control C. Chemical treatment D. Habitat restoration E. 
bioremediation. B. Biological control. This practice dates back to 324 BC when Chinese growers were recorded using ants to feed on citrus pests. The correct answer is B. Biological control. K. Check. The challenge. Last question from Prof. To. This design pattern occurs as a result of patterns or dots or lines are overlaid of an, at an angle when they have a slightly different size. A. Plaid or plaid B. Moray pattern C. Polka dots D. Embedded figure and E. All of the above E. All of the above Mali Bawal gamitin na ito actually pagka nag-shoot tayo no? sa nanaka-stripe ka. Kasi gagalaw-galaw. Oh, kasi gagalaw-galaw yan, lalo na pag kinukuna ng video camera. Because of the scanning ng lines, pag nag-overlay yan sa ating mga stripes na damit. Mm -hmm. Kaya bawal tayo magsuot ng stripes. Ito, ang tamang answer ay moray pattern. It has finally happened. Yes, 90 points for both Sarah and Althea. That's why magtutungo tayo ngayon sa ating tiebreaker question. So, are you ready, Sarah and Althea? Here is our tiebreaker question. Which Philippine volcano has a history of the most violent eruptions? Althea. Mayon volcano. Mayon Volcano is the correct answer. Yeah, we have a winner! Akalain mo yan, ha? From zero to winner. From zero to hero. Yes. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Althea, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score gotcha. of 120 points. Diba? A lesson that you can really make it and nothing is ever final until the very end. We'll see them again tomorrow when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And of course, maraming salamat sa ating ibang contestants, Sarah, Ralph, and Miles. Thank you so much for being here. And of course, to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Marla, and Professor To. Maraming maraming salamat po. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And I'm attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.